Hi. Welcome to All Things Royal. In this video, we're going to discuss about the next chapter of Wendy Berry's book. As was mentioned in previous videos, this book has been banned in the UK by the then Prince Charles. Anyway, the next chapter is mostly about Sarah Ferguson. Based on how Wendy writes about Sarah, it seems that Wendy did not like her much. The time which Wendy talks about is 1988 when Sarah is pregnant with Beatrice. At this time, Sarah's friendship with Diana had cooled down a bit but her friendship with Charles was the opposite, it was warming a lot. Sarah would visit Highgrove a lot, and sometimes when Diana was not there. During those visits, Charles was always very welcoming to her. Wendy Berry remarked that she hoped that Charles greeted Diana in the same way he greeted Sarah when they would see each other after time apart. Wendy also seemed to imply how Sarah was cozying up to the future king by ringing him up to ask advice from him about the simplest or most innocuous things like which charities to support, and things like that. Anyway, Sarah had a bit of attitude, according to Wendy. She would walk into Highgrove and say, give us a tea, will you? and she said this to the room in general, the room with staff like the butler and the housekeeper. Wendy said, Sarah had the habit of doing that. She would not mention a staff's name, like Wendy, could you get me a cup of tea, please? No, she'd just express what she wanted without looking the staff in the eye and just expected what she wanted done for her. When asked also if she wanted anything pressed or ironed, she'd say to iron the whole lot and that's two suitcases worth of clothes to be ironed. She was going home later that day, but Sarah still asked her to iron two suitcases of her clothes. So, Wendy recollects that Sarah, since marrying Andrew has transformed from a frumpy woman to a demanding madam. At this time also, Wendy observed that in the times she saw Diana, she was visibly upset and teary. Wendy seemed to imply that this was about the time when the phone taps were made known to Diana and she was possibly upset about the threat of these being made public. A few weeks after this, Charles and Diana would also celebrate their anniversary and she saw how Charles and Diana and the boys looked happy and loved up. In autumn of 1988, there were numerous visitors to Highgrove including baby Beatrice with her nanny. And Wendy said that Diana delighted so much on Beatrice. Wendy also implied that Diana would have been happier if she and Charles had another baby. She noticed how Diana delighted in doting on children and babies whenever she was around them. While Charles and Diana seemed to have a nice anniversary that year, where they seemed to be all loved up, it seems Charles' affair with Camilla was still very much on. Wendy mentioned how Camilla would visit Charles in Highgrove when Diana was not there. But Wendy also mentions how Diana's relationship with James seemed to still also be going on. So, both Charles and Diana had someone on the side even as they could act like they were very much married in front of staff and other people. It's also like everyone knows about their situation and it seems the situation was just accepted as it is in order to keep the peace on both sides. Wendy also talks about that year's staff ball at Buckingham Palace where Sarah Ferguson was also there. Wendy went with a friend and Sarah walked up to them and would say, who are you? Wendy would say who she was and that she looked after her at Highgrove. Sarah would say, oh yes, so you did and walked off. Wendy was a bit embarrassed about the incident, mainly for her friend who of course thought that the royals were rude. That's it for that chapter. Let me know what you guys think of Sarah Ferguson in the comments below. We shall be moving on quickly to the next chapter soon. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. For now, goodbye everyone. Have a nice day.